Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie Episode 3. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Today we're jumping into Treasure Trove Cove. Literally, we are jumping into Woo! it. So, unlike Mumbo's Mountain, this is way more difficult. The the layout is a bit more complex, and uh, there's a few uh, few dangers as well. If you go into the water any time. A shark will follow you! Yeah, Snacker smells tasty dinner. Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Wow, that's immediate too. Is he always following you? Oh yeah, anytime you go into water, you know, the the outside water, he is there and he will try and eat you. Damn. It's it's the music that plays, it's the fact that he is on you. It's it's pretty unnerving. Well, you know, it helps kids grow up, a little bit of terror in their kid-friendly game. So I'm not going to do any of these levels with any kind of set route in mind. I'm just going to do it as they come. Okay. So I don't think that this is the fastest route or any, or the most efficient route. I'm just doing it as it goes. Some notes in here. Those teeth do hurt. I'm trying to think of what level I actually stopped playing Banjo-Kazooie, because I was enjoying my time for a while, you know, I was trying to play through Rare Replay, and just for some reason there was one level that pissed me off so much I had to stop. Do you remember it? Uh, I'll eventually remember it when we get to it, but right now I can't think of the name. Well, we'll just focus on this level for now. If you get this empty honeycomb, you gotta- Oh, oh he's right there! Oh, ah! he really is immediately on you, that's cool! A little bit of fade in action there. Fuck off. <laughs> Snacker, no! If you're afraid of the ocean or sharks, this is not the game for you. Oh yeah, I, I can't do this. <laughs> Sorry, wouldn't man. Be surprised if this, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this game was... Uh, this game started a whole bunch of new phobias for people. Well, I'm just realizing that Treasure Trove Cove is where they got the idea for Sea of Thieves. Except there's more to do in this than in that game. Oh, definitely. Well, I mean, after a couple patches, I mean, you, you can still find bunches of bananas. 1% the size, 100% the content. <laughs> so one of the moves that we're going to learn Ooh. is, uh, we're going to learn to fly. Oh, just out of nowhere? Yeah. So follow the arrows, but the X's are really easy to see, so. This one, you just gotta find the red X's, pound them down, and then you're good to go. Oh god, get out, get out, get out! <laughs> Coffee and mints! <laughs> I, I like the things the snacker says. So we got those notes, let's head over here to the back way. Oh, there's, there's so many, like, secret alcoves, I like this. It's like there's coves of treasure. <gasps> oh. Damn it, this ain't Banjo Tooie. Uh, get out! No, no, get no, out! Get out! The, get, out get, the, get out the box! Get out the box! Get out the box! Oh, he got stuck on collision. Excellent. I guess he can't eat wood. Well, wood's gross. Well, actually, if this was a real great white shark, he would literally eat anything. That means he's starved. There is no fish in the sea because he probably ate them all. No, most likely. Got the munchies one day and just ate all the fish and all the eggs and all of the things that create fish. Until there's no life left in this. I mean, look, even at the coral and the, and the, and the sea plants, oh it's just god. sand under there. Oh my god. Oh, so. That's all it is. Speaking of uh, marine animals, I've, I've been on a bit of an, like, animal clip uh, mood lately on YouTube. So much so that they're now, you know trying to get me to watch videos of people with their pets or their weird pets or all, something like that. All hail the algorithm! Uh, I hate the algorithm. But uh, I, I recently watched a little uh, snippet on killer whales. And uh, those things are the true, like, bullies of the ocean. <laughs> like, they can take down a great white, no problem. And they also hunt in packs. Oh. Yeah, imagine you're on a boat and a group of killer whales just comes careening towards oh. you. Hi, guys. I don't have anything for you. Yeah, gentlemen, it has been an honor to play with you. Well, it's also the the scary part is they're smart. Like, they actually use their tail to whip fish out of the water to disorient them and then eat them. <laughs> That's a scary thought. It's like, what the fuck is all that? <laughs> 
Well, and then you you know you and your uh, you and your friend Orca just come around and say, like, hey, check it out. Look at that asshole, the great white shark. You want you want to teach him a lesson? Yeah, dude, let's do it. And then they do. Random jacket down here. Oh yeah, that's it. When orcas kill great whites, they go for the liver. Ugh. Like an orchestrated attack to remove the shark's liver. That's cruel. Orcas don't fuck around, man. Is that a landmine? Or, sorry, a water mine <laughs> with a face? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm actually gonna camera got weird there. turn this there's, up. There's, there's, there's some instances where the camera kind of messes up and I'm going to, like, around a wall or whatever, mm -hmm. and it'll, like, it'll, like, completely snap 180 degrees. It's weird. Ah, there we go. Now I can hear the music. I've always enjoyed Banjo-Kazooie music. Can't go wrong. Although, I will say, it's kind of stuck in its own... Uh, how do I want to say this? Its own audio set? Like, you'll hear the same instruments in every game that is touched by Grant Kirkhope. Yeah, even even ukulele just sounds like Donkey Kong 64. That's why I like David Wise so much. That that guy is a genius. Now, did Wise work on Killer Instinct? I believe so. Yes. Okay. Oh, because that soundtrack he was, kicks he ass was, too. He was Rare's composer, their sole composer, from their inception to like 2001 when they hired Grant. Oh, okay. Or not that, but what that late? Well, they, they hired Grant Kirko for Magic Kazooie, certainly. Oh! But uh, everything up until then, that was David Wise. Nipper, the name. Yeah, he nips. Get it? Cause he... Oh, just just little nips. See? Right in the eye. Oh. Well, you just made Nipper mad. What's he gonna do about that? He's gonna do the same thing he was doing. What? Knock out Nipper. That was worth an yeah, achievement? No. Yep, he's dead. Just, just straight <laughs> up dead now. How did he go farther into his shell? Isn't that the point of a hermit crab? Well, let's go beat him up some more. Hey, come on! <laughs> Banjo the bully. What? Sorry, my bad. Oh, there we go. I was gonna press forward, but... Oh, the camera already took care of that for me. Oh, that's cool. It's all themed and everything, and you're actually curling around the shell. Ah! ah! What a oh. jerk. Oh, he just... He just turned into two crabs, that's all. Oh, he... Departed from his other brethren? I don't know. Banjo Kazooie kills everything in their way to make sure they get all the jiggies. All the honey, all the puzzle pieces, all the eggs. It just goes to show that Banjo Kazooie is a nature documentary because bears are mean. That's what Nuts and Bolts was missing. David Attenborough. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts turns into planet Earth. National Geographic presents Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Notice how the brown bear uses his bird friend to extract eggs and to collect puzzle pieces. Their symbiotic nature is what allows them to survive in the harsh wilderness of the Witch's Lair. Ah, there's Gruntilda now, trying to reclaim territory from the brown bear. Let's see what happens next. This is the salty hippo. <laughs> you trying to take me to a new bar, or what? where are we going? <laughs> so at the top of it, this is how uh, Kazooie learns to fly. Ah. And I will say, the thing that Yuka lately has over Banjo-Kazooie is uh, late in the game, you get the ability to fly from anywhere. No pads required. Oh, that's no, cool. No, 
no feathers either. You just, all right, uh, you've uh, done enough of the game. Now you can fly anywhere you want to. That's so nice. I mean, wh why break something when you're already that far into the game? I mean, the levels are big enough that you'll, you'll fucking need it. Yeah. <laughs> His dialogue is belches. <laughs> yeah, again, again, really, uh, r real highbrow stuff we're dealing with here. <laughs> well, it's for kids, I understand. I mean, come on, Niskull. We are top professional comedians here. It's not like belching constantly. Uh, it's funny. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> got some notes, got a mumbo token, and the thing of gold. He's got two bars of gold sunk in a ship. We gotta, we gotta get them, exchange those for a jiggy. Okay, there is one thing that is kind of a safety measure when it comes to my rare game Let's Play. I saw that autosave as soon as you came in. And yep. autosaving uh -huh. scares me nowadays. Yep, everything's gonna be done all at once. <laughs> and you hope to God it doesn't break. Well, if it does, I'll have to play the game over again, and uh, that's not a bad thing. Oh no. Another advantage of playing good games on your Let's Play channel. What? You you mean I get to play the same great game again? It, do, it doesn't feel so bad. If you're playing a bad game, though, then I gotta do all of that over again! Ah, there we are. I'm slowly swimming because it feels safer. Just imagine crashing your face into a wall while swimming. I've done it before. Don't laugh. Okay. I don't care. You can laugh. Yeah, there we go. Top of the mast here is the green Jinjo. Oh. Hello, Jinjo. All right, let's uh, do a bit of flying before we give him his gold. I thought you were holding it just to, you know, send a message. Ah. Jiggy in here. It's a good job. Way to figure out how to fly. Whoa. Do you think this is where mimics go on vacation? Oh. Yeah, actually, you know what? If, if a mimic just showed up on the side of the ocean, just basking in the sand and sun, just has those little tendril arms and legs just laying out all sexily, I, I would hate it. No going, no going back to that beach. Well, hoorah! Another one. All right, you're just showing off that you can beat an entire level in one video. They're not always. They're all. They're not all going to be like that. Trust okay. me. Okay. Oh, there was another Ikabokum. Again, we don't need to get every single Ikabokum. Is that really what they're called, or are they just called Mumbo tokens? They're called Mumbo tokens. <laughs> Ikabokum is the meme. Oh yeah, maybe we should look into Banjo Kazooie memes if any of them exist. We gotta get the move if we wanna get up there. Oh. Oh, but there's the yellow Jinjo. Hello, yellow. Okay, 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 okay. Let me try again. Hello, yellow Jinjo. In my pants. <laughs> Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Nice recovery. Nailed it! Yeah. Alright, where to next? There's still quite a few things to do yet. Just, just so many things. I don't know where to begin. You know, you don't need to flat flip jump up there. It just... It felt like I had to, though. It looks cool, okay? Alright, time for the second pad. I can't remember what this move the is. Shock. 
The shock jump spring. Oh. <laughs> he is a lazy bear. Yeah, my legs are tired, as Kazooie does most of the running in this. While carrying your fat ass. Aw, oh, thanks, Kazooie. And that's all the moves here. Oh, so we're learning new moves every single... level? Not every single. Oh, my god, that looks finicky. Not that bad. What are you talking about? Well, okay, it was the forward jump you did on that first one. It doesn't have to be a forward jump, it could just be a jump. Actually, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be, like, a shorter jump, but that's actually a really decent jump. Yeah, no. nothing too hard. And there's the other Jinja right over there. <laughs> Just get on one of these and... Boing. Boing. And there's the other... There's, this, there's the other Jiggy. And we got a gamer pick. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, you get to change your profile. I looked, I couldn't find it. Oh, well. It may have already been unlocked. Maybe it didn't look hard enough, I don't know. Oh my god, that is... That's a blast from the past, unlocking gamer picks. Because Microsoft stopped doing that, like, a long time ago. And now we're gonna go on to the infamous portion of this level. Sandcastle. Right? The Sandcastle, yes. There you go. Take some eggs. <laughs> I thought you edited that sound effect in. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's this? Yep. Oh. The, sand the sand castle is where you enter all the cheats. Hmm. I should, uh... While I'm doing the puzzle for this, which is basically to spell out Banjo-Kazooie on the wall, I should mention cheats. So, uh, there are a uh, number of cheats in this game, but there's two kinds of cheats. There's the legal cheats that the game gives you, and then there's the illegal cheats of which you can only enter two. Uh, there are uh, Cheeto the Spellbook, is, uh, is, uh, he's, he's a character we'll find later, but he's the one who gives you legal cheats when you can actually find him. There are also a few other secret bonus hidden cheats that we'll get to later on in the game. And then there's the illegal cheats. The ones that give you infinite energy. The ones that open up note doors. The ones that do things in the game to, 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 uh, break progress. Hmm. If you enter three of those... On the N64 version, your save data will be deleted. <gasps> on, the X on the Xbox version, your save data will be deleted and saving will be disabled. Whoa! Matter of fact, matter of fact saving is disabled when you enter in one cheat. One illegal cheat, I may add. Holy crap! And they're, and they're not fucking around. Like, Grunty will say, if you if you put in one more cheat, I'll delete your save data. And, he, and he's like, yeah. And when you enter cheat... The bottles will say, hey, no, she's not kidding around. She will delete your save data. Not a joke. That's kind of awesome. But that's only illegal cheats. We're only dealing with legal cheats in this playthrough. So, I'm wondering why they would put in the illegal cheats in the first place, then. Just for funsies? Yeah, I mean, they take, like, hours to put in. Oh, really? You know, it's not like... Yeah, I mean, the, the, a legal cheat would be, like, blue eggs. Mm-hmm. But this one's like, uh... Let me look up one real quick. Probably something ridiculous, like... They're, mil they're, like, ridiculously long. So it's not even worth it, then. Yeah, okay, uh... Here's an illegal cheat. It opens up, uh... It opens up the stop and swap for this for this level. Cheat out of the sea, it rises to reveal more secret prizes. 
Yeah, that's pretty bad. Or like, or, or like, open up level four. Cheat, you'll be amazed. Now the swampy, picky grill is raised. God. Okay. So you enter in this one, and it's like, oh, where could where could it be? It, it, it's, it's just over there. That's actually a pretty good gag. <laughs> Open me. Gently, gotcha. Perfect aim. God damn. Oh, oh. Like, when you woke up this morning, did you think you'd be doing this much gaming? I didn't think so. Being such a gamer right now. I'm gaming it up, my fellow gamer. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> That was an epic gamer skip, jumping over the mumbo token like that. <laughs> Professional video gaming. Hashtag gamer guy. Best watch out for this dude, because he's such a gamer. So we got a couple more things to do. Right now there's empty honeycomb I want to try and get, but it's a little tricky. Yeah, like I'm trying to see if I can if I can see it from here because it's in the water at the very bottom in a corner Oh. So I don't really have a lot of time to look around really I just gotta kind of maybe I can Angle the camera so I can see well, it. A you bit. can take a couple bites, right? It's, fucking... it's just yeah, snacker. Might as well take care of the... Yeah, come on. I'll take care of the lighthouse first. Oh, there it is. Oh. There it is. We'll go get it. I'll get in a bit. Right now I'm at this flying pad. I think I'll just uh, go for the lighthouse first. I didn't even see a lighthouse. Where was that? It's at the very top of the mountain. Oh, right. We couldn't go there yet. You can either go up uh, through, a, through the, the stairway that's in the cove there, or you can just fly up here. But now we got the uh, shock spring. We're good. But we need to actually fly all the way to the top. To the tippy top. Oh my gosh, that transition for the music was awesome. It just vanishes. And here we go. I was waiting for the world's worst whiff. No! Yeah, that's all ten jiggies on level two. Holy crap. Gamer be gaming. Got a few, got a few more notes to get. Oh, all on you here. got them. They're like right here. There's the, oh, <laughs> there's the witch switch. This is pretty easy, just get over there. Oh. And the rest of the notes are at the bottom here. I don't think I can break that, can I? Oh well. Yeah, there they are. Not a bad romp through Treasure Trove Cove. So I figured out why the N64 doesn't save your note progress. It can't handle it. Yeah, that's what I figured. It can't handle it. The, the, the memory is not big enough to remember the notes you get when you die or when you leave the stage. But Banjo-Tooie does. I think it's because of the expansion pack. That's kind of sad, but also kind of adorable. I, I know, right? Aw, the little N64 can't keep up. That's adorable. It can't remember. Oh, oh look, look at the at darling. N64. You're trying, though. All right, let's get that empty honeycomb, and I think we'll be done here. Snacker's coming. For now, anyway. Snacker's coming. It's gonna bite your bare butt. <laughs> All right, here it's we go. Gonna bite you. Go, 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 go! It's gonna bite you. Oh, here he comes. Snacker! Whoa! Snacker! Well, enough. If I die, it doesn't matter. So. Wait, he only took a bite. Yeah, what the? I think he pisses off when he bites you, so that way he's not like on you, and then you lose like all that. God, that'd be cruel. This this game can be cruel, but it wouldn't be that cruel. All right, and we are done. Are we gonna be putting in any of those cheats later? When we get them. Oh, okay. Oh, you actually have to unlock cheats. Well, we gotta we gotta find the cheat first. Uh -huh. I figured it was... I mean, we could enter... I mean, there are illegal versions of legal cheats. Oh. Hmm. But you gotta find Cheeto in order to get the legal version of the cheat. Cheeto. Oh my god. So before we say goodbye for this week, let's go ahead and put 
the new pieces in. What do you think we do? Oh, to find the new area? Yep. Um, well, we've been going up and down and all around. And I don't recall any of this. Ah, uh, okay. Make sure you bend to level two to unlock that move. Oh. You got enough jiggies, of course. I remember this level. Okay. I can't <laughs> wait to see this. Oh, you can just enter them all, all at once? Well then, I'll just do that. And we've unlocked Clanker's Cavern, level three. Mm. This level. Yes, the level that made me kind of go, I don't know about the whole <laughs> Let's Play thing. <laughs> I'm not 100% on really? this. Really? Mm. That was the level? But then I played it and I was like, oh, okay, we're fine. I, I thought it was because it was kind of freaky. So, how do we get over there? Well, we'll find out next time on Banjo-Kazooie!